You know, it's funny, when you do movies, you always talk to the animal wrangler who promises you, oh yeah, I've got a trained animal. They'll do whatever we, you know, we've got little cues and we do these little things and we make them do this and they, it's Pavlovian and they'll do it. Of course, none of that's true. <laughs> um, the challenge with the cat from hell is the damn cat. <laughs> you can't train cats. You know, they, they'll never do what you want to do. I don't care what you bribe them with. They'll like say, okay, I'll get it later. There's some outtakes of Cat from Hell that are hysterical of these guys trying to get their cat to do things that just, I mean, I'm watching one daily one time and I see a foot and then I see a cat in air. I mean, not in a, it wasn't like booted booted. He had put his foot under the cat and lifted it up in the thing to get it running in the direction. And I'm like, I see a foot and then I see a cat. It's like, I just laughed. I cannot wait you, you little shit. There were other scenes where we would just put it, uh, well, one I was really worried about, where we had to put it in front of a TV and it was eating. And Johansson had laid out some food for it to eat, and then when it got there, he was going to shoot it. So the, w <laughs> the poor cat, we got the cat to come in and get down by the bowl in front of the television screen, and then we had the television rig to explode so that when Johansson shot on his side, it, the television would explode, and it did, and the cat freaked and took off. Which, of course, was perfect, but I kind of felt bad for the cat because we didn't tell him that we were going to blow the television up. Otherwise, it was pretty easy. <laughs>